Hey, so fam, Amelia Adair here. I hope you're feeling well, doing well. I'm feeling well, I'm doing well. We got a great topic for usual. Some wanna be acting up with us, but we gonna, we gonna enjoy it, we gonna embrace it, all right? And we're gonna jump right into today's topic as we are healing, elevating, growing, working on being better versions of ourselves than we was yesterday. And for those that are new to the channel, welcome. We welcome you. On this channel, we heal, we elevate, we grow, and we work on being better versions of ourselves than we were yesterday without losing our core essence. Let me add that, so fam, because there's a, there's a difference, okay? There's a difference of elevating and growing, being a better version of you, and elevating and growing just to mimic someone else's version or expectation of you, all right? And, um, <laughs> I meant to put that on silent. <laughs> um, so, so fam, understand this: as you are elevating and you are growing, and you strive for a better life, you know that you may have had in the past, or you're just striving to be better. Period. Okay, there's always, there's always more. You know, there's always higher levels. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be the higher version of you, okay? And so, excuse me, so fam, I did just have, um, I guess you could say a brunch, which was, let me tell you, so fam, I went to this place, real quick, sidebar, sidebar. It's, it was a Salvadorian restaurant, and so it was a little different, you know? It was definitely portioned well, and not heavy. I had like, they have rice with eggs and plantains kind of dish. Then they had this cream on top. I was sitting there like this. I was sitting there. Then they kept refilling my coffee cup. I was like, yeah, I am rubbing all the right cues. <laughs> um, so make sure you feed it, feed it yourself well, okay? Anywho, so fam, so what we got to understand as we're growing and we're elevating and we're working on being better versions of us is that we have to be asking ourselves along the process when we're trying to make changes and we're trying to make shifts and we're trying to make sure we stay you know on top of things is what is it doing to you and what is it doing for you let's break it down hold on let me make sure this because i need because if i watch this video and it's, it's off key i'm gonna be upset because i, I Listen, so fam, you be like, listen, I did it to look right. Hold on, what, right before I parked here, the sun, the sun wasn't as, you know what I'm saying? And so the shadow, I don't know, no, we gonna rock it out, so fam, we are gonna just stand right here in the light and make it work, stay with me. So, so fam, what is it doing to you? That's number one, okay? What is it doing to your, your mind? for one so for instance if you are in this in this new relationship or at this new position what is it doing to you okay is it lifting you up is it making you feel better is it you know what i'm saying is it giving or is it draining in a sense and when you ask yourself this then you would know like okay this is this is where i can maintain for a little while or to see if it's time to move on you know and if it's a relationship maybe it's time to have a conversation okay i know we live in a time where everyone is just like block bye get out of here see you later sarunara you're a dime a dozen and that is extremely toxic for you long term because you kind of treat people as disposables and you don't consider that they have feelings and emotions too okay and we're all in this together you know like we're we're all here <laughs> we're all doing it <laughs> we all would rather be doing something else you know but we're here and so when we're meeting someone and someone may give you an energy that you may not agree with and it may knock you to the left have a conversation with someone else first you know like hear yourself speak this is what's great about coaching because when you're sitting on the phone and you're having that conversation you can really hear what's bothering you what comes up because once we start speaking we may have a thought and it may be chained to a couple of other thoughts that you can't really hear clearly because you're not verbalizing 
the way you may feel or the way you may process things. And so having that conversation with someone really allows you to hear yourself speak. Like, let's see what's like, let's hear it. Cause sometimes inside it may not really sound as, you know, mm -hmm. and when you get to express it, you'd be like, you know what, why am I even stressing over this? It's not even that deep. You know, and it allows you to understand, OK, you know what, let me just go to this individual and have this conversation because we can't be afraid to express to anyone how we feel and how they're making us feel. Definitely if someone is disregarding your space. So because if you like me, you'd be like, you know what, I'm going to just need you to back up my space. And we have to learn to be like, back up. You know, a lot of us, we're very sensitive with feeling emotions. We're very sensitive with with our neighbors you know and meaning we can we can feel them you get what I'm saying and because of that you want to just be protecting your space and being able to verbalize back up you know before we had all this consciousness and knowledge we were just all we're all over the place you know laughing with this person hugging with this person touching with this person all in balance now that we have that balance that we need right and that we understand when someone is coming into our space touching us inappropriately don't don't touch my head you know don't don't squeeze my waist because you know they love to hug you want to hug oh you want to hug you don't think i know what this hug is back up no you can't get a hug you know being able to say that definitely for my ladies because i understand how intimidating it can be when a male don't respect that space. I'm not saying all men disrespect that space, but believe it or not, fellas, men disrespect that space with us when they don't see us with another man, you know? And so oftentimes as women, we just silence ourselves. We just cry to our sisters or our friends later, but we never say anything directly to that person. And so that person could really think that they're not doing nothing wrong. There's been times and, and times where I'd be like having to tell a man without being without trying to fight a man you know what i'm saying like I, listen sir you got it but just saying like yo respect my stuff don't don't touch my things or respect my fate my space or back up or no you can't get a hug like no like i don't owe you a hug like back up no did you brush your teeth i don't want to smell bad you hear what i'm saying <laughs> It's 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 funny a little bit now but when you when you think about the situation like yo tried it but but what, it's really not even funny when you're in that situation you'll be like yo respect my space and a lot of times ladies we be giggling and gackling and guys are misreading that as you as you friendly no I'm not friendly I'm being kind stop looking for for women to be friendly so you can get little little touches you know and that's the world that we live in where the the space for women aren't aren't safe a lot of the times there's too many men that look for opportunity to be disrespectful so as a woman not to make this all about that but as a woman being able to verbalize that and for the fellas listening that may have daughters and nieces and nephews you have to be the ones to tell them to speak up because believe it or not when you in that situation if you don't have a, a voice in in the back of your head like of, of a guy who got your back saying like make sure you speak up it won't happen it won't happen and Guys are getting away with, with, with murder these days. You'd be like. <laughs> okay, so one, what is it doing to you? What is that person doing to you? And then after you answer that question, so fam, what is it doing for you? That job, what is it doing for you? Okay, and you wanna write this out so fam you want to have a list of what it does and does to you and does for you you want to have a list and you want to list these out and you want to look for some balance okay if this if it's too imbalanced you'll know you'll be like okay 
<laughs> Y'all been living the dream <laughs> on my back. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Let me let me readjust myself. Okay. Let me let me move accordingly now. Okay, so what that means if I have to one speak up for myself. Two, apply to new positions. Listen, do not feel guilty of be chained down to one position. Everybody hiring. Take advantage. Okay? If, and, and if you do a conversation first and nothing changes, okay. Because you don't want to be the person that also just flees every time something goes wrong. Okay, that's not what I'm saying, Sophia. <coughs> Excuse me. Look. <coughs> I've had my days. I'll be like, you know what? Eventually, you want to get to a space where you are able to verbalize what is going wrong and, and give it the opportunity to be fixed. Definitely in these relationships, Sophia, because a relationship is for two people to grow. All right, so if you're in this relationship and something isn't going the way you are pleased with, verbalizing that and waiting for change. Okay, giving a person an opportunity to grow, to change, to hear you out, to make some shifts. Okay, because if you are just, if you're just fleeing and, and, and what's it called, flight, if you're just in flight mode, you won't grow. You'll stay in a position where you're always just running, 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 running and looking for safe grounds instead of creating those safe grounds. Hmm. Come on, soul fam. Once you get a, a, a decent enough foundation, create those safe grounds by being verbal. Back up. How are you? If somebody you have some tension, okay, I'm not going to run from this tension. I'm going to face this tension head on. You want to have tension with me? Let's get it. Let's 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 get it. <laughs> you know, when you're in the gym and you have that pressure, that's what makes your your muscles grow, your legs or your arms. When you holding them weights, right? You grow through through the through the pressure. So if someone is giving you pressure in these relationships and these jobs, hold it, face it, push through it, right? You hold it for a little while push release push push back don't let people just stomp and and and, and walk all over you that's why i look like a mat to you back up you know and just practicing that that voice in you that speaks up for yourself where you're not over exaggerating right and you're not downplaying yourself either you want to find that middle ground like back up <laughs> you know like hmm <laughs> Step one, give them a little warning. Back up. <laughs> you know, step two, all right, back up. You want to have that sternness within you. Not <laughs> back up. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to take that serious. You be like, bookie. <laughs> back up. Oh, you, oh, okay. You a joke. It's not a joke when you in that and when you behind closed doors and you're hurting. You know? That's when it gets real. That's when it's like, okay, how many times? How many times? How many times? What's up with that? How many times? How many times you gonna be on that on that short stick in? Don't love don't 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 have them have one up on you every single time so so fam what is it doing for you what is it doing to you and if it's not doing things to lift you up and it's not a give and take let's let's reevaluate hold on a minute let me look at this okay and carry the one because i ain't the one to mess with And your actions will always speak louder than words. Okay? So you may say one thing, but it's all about what you do. Okay, let me see what you do. Because you talk, talk a good game. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that, I be like, Kelly hit that song. Y'all know that song by Kelly Rowland, Talk a Good Game. You be like, she knew, sis knew. You talk a good game. Now let's see what you do. And that goes for you too, so fam. You be talking all that talk. Now what you about to do? They bullying you, what you gonna do? 
They taking advantage of you, what you gonna do? They taking your money out your pockets, what you gonna do? Oh. They stealing your energy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Where they come for you? All right, Sophia? So and sweet, straight to the point. You get it. If you ain't get it by now, send me an email. Book you a session. <laughs> Book you a session, Sophia. Okay, the calendar is opened up and the calendar is filling up. All right, and you want to get it while I keep my rates at a nice steady rate because my day will come. Okay, where I'll be able to charge. Which I probably could now, but you know, I'm being, I'm being considering. You know, I'm sharing. Sharing is caring. Okay, book you a session. <laughs> Amelia, day here. In order to be a part of the Soul Fam, hey, I love y'all, Soul Fam. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. More importantly, applaud the knowledge. Ooh. Applying the knowledge is key if you really want to succeed and see your life start to shift in a positive direction. Okay? Positive direction, uplifting. It's up and it's why. Okay, you said it, not me. All right, so fam, share this video with a friend, someone that need to hear it, someone that you win it with, share it with a friend. I appreciate you. I love you. And you already know, I'm going to see you at the next win. Bye for now.